a really moving spectacle, Martin. I think it would have been an incredibly powerful moving event if the proms had gone ahead. Everyone coming together, a sense of patriotism. And of course, it would have been have to have been done differently. They would have had to change perhaps how they went about it. But goodness, that really could have been a powerful evening, couldn't it? But I, I, but on the, I do understand it too, because people singing and waving flags, it's normally a very upbeat event. Would the tone of it have been the right one at the moment? Perhaps not. Well, I, well I, it, it may well have done. I mean, obviously, some of the, they'd have to pull the sort of the, the big the land of hope and glory and all that sort of stuff. The thing is, the Queen loved music. I mean, I've seen various pictures of her when she was a youngster sat mm. at a Steinway piano, and I think she was patron of the National Children's Orchestra and various other you know, bits and pieces. So I'm sure she wouldn't have... I, I mean, I can't speak for her, obviously. No-one can, but, you know, music was part of her life yeah. and it's part of the life of everyone else's. Yeah. And it brings... Some people express themselves differently through music. I know sort of like during the pandemic, people were turning to music for comfort and things. So... I don't know. Do you know what I mean? It's a, I, I do know what you mean. I think sport and music similar. They often are uh, the expression that people use for the, uh, expressing the, the the platform that people use for expressing their emotions. I think it often stirs up music, particularly even more than sport. It stirs up certain emotions. Mine is a tricky one. I don't know why I am with the proms. I, I think probably I agree with you that it should have gone ahead in a very different way. But I can also see why the decision to have lots of people sort of singing and the it is a very jubilant, very happy event. If ultimately, perhaps, I do understand why there was concern about that. Claire's in Highgate. Claire, hi. Oh, hi, Ben. Hi. Um, just going immediately to your last point about the proms, I very much disagree with you. Absolutely, that event should have gone ahead. Music is... is we cry, we, we listen with, with admiration. In between all those musical items, there could have been poems read or little anecdotes about the Queen. There could have been some video imagery of her. People will will have absolutely come together with, mm. with joy and sadness. And, and really, the point I, I really want to make is the whole idea of imposing respect on people yeah. and black armbands of the so Victorian. You know, these days, um, a lot of people might have wanted to celebrate the Queen's life, celebrate her energy, her wit, mm. her humour, the smile in her eyes the person she was, not with grief, but with celebration. An awful lot of funerals these days, you know, strike a completely different route path. People come along in their own clothes and they, they celebrate the person. They, they laugh. They, they do. They, they do what... So there's all that aspect. Do you think that's um, what's going on, Claire? Sorry to interrupt. Do you, think, do you think that's what's going on, this sense of imposed respect? Do you think that some people are enforcing their own views and their own ways of paying tribute to somebody on others? Well, I think your man from UKIP was completely down that route, and I think he was completely wrong. It's very stuffy, it's very pompous, and it's very controlling. You know, all of us are used to expressing our feelings in today's world. It's not like the buttoned-up Victorian world. So I think events should all have gone ahead for people to be able to express their feelings. But what I would say is that I think that there are some practical issues behind some of these decisions. For instance, the, the cancer... Um, the, the, um, the charity uh, walk, that might have been, the decision might have been about, well, we don't know how many people are going to turn up. They're probably going to be at home watching their tellies. How many people are going to come out to cheer them on? You know, will it be a flop? Should we go ahead? And the MP, so follow the money, you know, with some of these decisions. And the MPs in Parliament, maybe, I just don't know, I'm just guessing, maybe some of the, um, the decision was about the MPs needing to be in their home turf, you know, attending local events. I don't think it was with Parliament, Claire, with was respect. I think it's because no it's protocol. It's happened historically that Parliament oh, goes that, into well, recess out ridiculous. of respect. And actually, you know, a lot needs to be done. The tone in Parliament when it did convene for the tributes on Friday was incredibly respectful. You could have heard a pin drop. It was. They are it capable. Was. They, whatever we say about our politicians, they are capable <laughs> of getting on with the job in a way that is respectful at a time like this. And, and frankly, Absolutely. I think that's what they should be doing because there is so much in this country that needs addressing for them to have another month effectively not sitting in Parliament, I, I, I just don't know if that's what we need. And I don't know, I go back to it, if that's what the late Queen would have wanted. I couldn't disagree with you, I couldn't disagree with you less. It's 100% correct. But, but, all, but also, this whole idea of respect, this whole loaded word. Everybody we can see around the country who feels moved and upset and wants to show how much they care mm. is doing that. 
So the idea of imposing respect on that tiny minority of people who are going to be abusive of the situation, other people would, 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 would shut them up if they misbehave. I mean, obviously, they would be turned upon in this situation. So the whole notion of this great project of showing respect for the Queen... At that's anti who she was as a person, totally anti, totally anti the, the sort of common way that we all do things, where we celebrate people's lives. And also, it, it's just a smack of ugly controlling of, of people. You don't need authority to tell us all we have got to respect someone. We will do that anyway, thank you very much. So I think everything you're saying is correct. I think the UKIP man was wrong. Um, you know, everything should have gone ahead, especially as football and the proms. In my view. <laughs> Claire, thank you. Claire and I get there. Interesting about respect. I'll come on to that in just a moment. This idea of some people forcing others to show respect. I Those people who say, well, I don't care about the monarchy. Why should I'm not upset? Why should I? Well, actually, I think that is just basic decency. When somebody has passed away, whatever you thought of their position or them or whatever you may feel about that, you show respect in the same way as when a hearse goes past of someone you don't know, lots of people will, uh, will bow their heads or lots of people will stop talking. I think it would be disrespectful if people were just singing as a hearse went past on the street, whoever it was. So there is an expectation, I think, that people should so show respect. The question that we're asking is how do you go about that? And if one person shows respect in a certain way by being quiet and going to church and wanting to stop doing their normal daily business, then are they right to tell somebody else who perhaps shows respect in a different way as Claire was talking about celebrating a life or coming together in a spirit of joy and gratitude that they're not just wrong but that they should not have the opportunity to do that at the proms or at the sporting events or so on that's the question we're asking Annie in Guildford Ali hi hello hello um I, I just want to say a couple of things um fortunately um my children are students at one of the schools where the queen was the patron mm. and my daughter is a bagpiper for um for one of the beacon ceremonies as right. well in surrey so i have we have quite a good relationship with the royal family we've written to her she writes back my son is in one of the houses at, he's actually in balmore house at the school and um they have a big parade going on next weekend i don't think that should be cancelled because it's a celebration it's going to be a celebratory parade and um, and the chaplain will be there as normal. Mm. Um, but however, on Thursday evening, we were in Cambridge, my husband and I, with her gala dinner at Queen's College, and that got cancelled. And I, in respect, I think it should have been cancelled, and I'm pleased it was cancelled. So I think there's ways of celebrating and ways of respecting. I think, that, I think that they're getting blurred slightly here. Um, it was like, if you could see the crowds welcoming Prince Charles, it went from sadness of her, of her loss mm. and passing the happiness of welcoming the new king so i think you know we've all got to do things differently um and we have to look at things independently um that's my personal opinion so you know i'm very sad and it's actually made me want to go and frame all the letters that i've received from the queen now and put the rest of them on the walls i'm going to do that this week um where there's been some of them being sat in the drawer so yeah that's my that, those are my thoughts i think it's a sad time and we all need to take time and reflect but, um, but I mean, what if people what if people want to pay their respects in different ways? What if they like the idea of coming together in a crowd full of people and joining together to sing the national anthem or share a moment's silence and then watch a football match together? Is that a disrespectful thing to do? No, I, I think I don't like I said. I think it's very difficult times. We all knew mm. it was coming, and I think we have to treat every single event differently but when i was in cambridge with my husband on thursday evening when we had the announcement um there were lots of people just celebrating I mean, university yeah and it was really strange um so i think it's a different i think it's different age groups are going to treat this as different differently i.e. the proms be it football i think we're all we're all unique in our thoughts to this one i think i think we are and i think that's why it's important that we're not judgmental if somebody does think it's right that these events don't go in. I, I genuinely understand that. I don't think it's the right decision, but I understand that people express their views and their emotions and their grief differently. So it's got to be respectful. But I also think being respectful means allowing people to do their own thing in their own way and express their feelings in their own way rather than say, I'm sorry, you can't do this or that's wrong or, or stopping events happening. And actually that charity hike, a lot of people did the hike. They walked the route anyway because it embattered to them. They wanted to raise money for charity. They didn't want to be told by the organisers that it was wrong for them to do so. And I think we should respect that as well. Chris is in Leeds. Chris, what do you think? Afternoon. Uh, yeah, yeah, hi. 
I'd just like to say I think it's um, a complete overreaction to try to uh, cancel events, uh, uh, particularly as yeah, partially uh, people use it as an opportunity to come together and share their feelings. Uh, and also that um, whilst it's uh, an intense personal uh, tragedy, for most people, uh, they've got a very, very uh, sort of distant connection to events. A distant connection to, to what's happened. Well, we've all got a, a sort of distant connection, most of us, Chris, but I think a lot of people have felt uh, a lot of stirred up emotion and a lot of people have felt very, very sad and a real sense of personal loss. So even though we've got a yeah. distant connection, I think it's, it's right that some people will say, actually, no, this is not a normal time, isn't it? That we do, even can, just for 10 days, that. we should so do things don't... differently. Yeah, I just don't feel that um, people should be sort of policing other, other people's reactions in terms of saying uh, that it's inappropriate uh, for kids to uh, go and uh, have a kick around in, in the local park. Yeah, I agree with you on that. I'm interested to hear everyone's thoughts on that, even if you think the Premier League were right to cancel their matches this weekend in the FA, the Football League, the National League, so on. What's the explanation for young kids not being able to kick a football in a park? Is that really disrespectful? I, that's where I slightly struggle to see the argument a little bit more. I get that not having big national events for packed crowds, I kind of understand the logic for it, even though I don't agree with it. Kids playing football in a park, in what world, is, is in what way is that disrespectful? Someone could call in and, and tell me, genuinely, 03456060973. That is a decision that I really, really do struggle to understand. Amar in Park Royal. Uh, hi, Amar. Hi, Ben. Thanks for having me on. Um, I was calling actually because it was interesting. I think it was your your guest or a caller earlier on um, who was saying um, that it was disrespectful for things to go ahead, um, whether it was major events or comedy or things like that. Um, I own a small business um, and we work in events uh, in PA and we struggled heavily uh, throughout COVID and we're just about uh, starting to recover now. It was a good summer. Mm. Um, and I don't think people get the amount of small businesses that have to come together to put on an event. Mm. Uh, and the fact that if these events over a 10-day period were cancelled, how much it would hurt these small businesses. Yep. And I think that's something that people need to consider. Now, every every one of us has paid their respects to the, to the, to the late Queen uh, in their own way, um, whether it's attending the memorials, whether it's reminiscing on, on times where they saw the Queen pass or or things like that. I mean, I mean, there's so many different ways for you to pay respect. Um, but holding an economy uh, is, is is not one of them. And, and, and given the current financial kind of uh, uh, instability and the way things are going and the, and the rise in prices everywhere, uh, I think it would be a, a bit childish to say that everyone needs to stop for 10 days. Mm. Um, and I don't think 